Stick with me and I'll give you some tips to help you manage seasonal depression. Seasonal depression can be really hard for some people, especially those who live in the northern climates where you know you go for months where you can't really get outside it's below freezing you can't really take a walk and get a big dose of sun a lot of seasonal depression has to do with sunlight and this isn't anything new you probably knew this but there are some tips you can do that you might not know about to um, help you create vitamin d when there's not much sunlight around so the first thing i'm going to do is the easiest thing to do is just take vitamin d now you can take it from two different uh, sources, D2 or D3. I've used both in my practice. They both seem to work about equally as well. I know there's a big controversy or whatever, but in real practice, I didn't notice any difference. They both seem to do about the same thing. Uh, you know, there's, there's vegan sources, which is good. And then there's also sources where they take it off of, uh, it's wool. It's a uh, sheep's wool, I think. They compress it, the oil out of wool or something, and it has high amounts of, of uh, D in it. So those are the easiest thing to do. And what you want to do is use the liquid kind you put under your tongue. A lot of times, uh, especially in America, people eat the standard American diet. They can't digest anything well. Uh, so you bypass the digestive system by putting liquid under your tongue, and it'll, it'll hit you really good. So go up, uh, the, the amount of D people take is ridiculously low, the recommended. Uh, a starting point for me, when I put patients on, it's like, I usually put about 5,000, which is about a dropper full. You're, you know, it's pretty hard to overdose on vitamin D and people are massively depleted. And it's also excellent for um, an anti-inflammatory response. Vitamin D, it's, I even hate calling it a vitamin because it's really like a hormone. Uh, it affects how you make other hormones and it affects how other hormones work. So when you don't get enough sunlight, you don't make enough D, you don't make the right kind of hormones, you start getting depressed. It's this big chain reaction that goes down the cycle. So that's the easiest way. So, you, you know, no brainer, take some D. But there are some other cool uh, things out there that you might not know about. I use a light right next to my monitor uh, that's actually shining on me right now. I'll show it to you. So I'm gonna grab my webcam and spin it around. And you will see something called daylight here. This is a special light that runs at the same wavelengths as the sun. Well, at least the ones that make you make vitamin D. You can put this light in your house um, for the winter, but put it right where you're going to be a lot because it takes about 30 minutes to an hour of um, light to really get a good dose of it. You, I put it right over my computer screen so when I'm working all afternoon, I'm getting a dose of this light and it keeps me in a good mood, keeps me producing my D. You have to be fairly close to these lights within a, about three feet for them to work. So, you know, put it somewhere where you can actually sit around and it gets, gets you. Now, remember a lot of vitamin D you make is actually through your eyeballs. So when you get a lot of sun through your eyes, uh, that produces more D than, than it hitting on the skin. Um, the other thing, this is kind of just a side thing that we do for fun, is uh, Kate turned me on to putting prisms all over the house. And these prisms throw light everywhere and rainbows all over the house whenever the sun hit, comes out. So we have these on every window. Now, although they're not going to help you produce vitamin D, they do put you in a really good mood when you see them. You're like, oh, look at all these rainbows dancing. So uh, let me show you a little bit of that now. So one way to brighten your room to hang these little balls, little prisms all over. And you can have different shaped prisms, like this one. And what this does is it shoots rainbows all over the room. And you can kind of see like right here and here, but, but what's more interesting is when you take it over to the, the walls and it shoots rainbows all through your house. It's just a really nice, Thing. It puts me in a good mood to see all these cool colors everywhere when I wake up. So you can do this pretty easily. Check it out. One other thing you can do is put out these cool sequins pillows. Look at it throw light and prisms everywhere. Although not quite as rainbowy, but very pretty. Take a look at the pillow from this angle. You can actually see the colors come through. Pretty neat. And then I wonder if it changes colors when I do this. That's cool. <laughs> Look at the 
arm. Ooh, the hair. Oh, look at the arm. Get more. Ah. <laughs> anyway, and you got to be careful because these sequence pillows are very addicting, and you'll just sit here and play with them and play with them and play with them. It's very Studio 54. I love it. I hope you try the prisms at home. I think you'll like it. I mean, yes, it doesn't produce D3, but it does make my house look like a disco, which puts me in a great mood. I love it. If this is the first time you've watched my channel, I run a variety show, so I don't always do health stories. I do stories on gardening and self-sufficiency and how to improve your life, uplifting stories. I even do some esoteric stuff once in a while. But if you're not a fan of YouTube, you can find me at any of these other platforms that are decentralized. Feel free to come over and say hi at any of those. If you're watching me on YouTube, you know I am trying to get off being so dependent on YouTube ad money. And I'm trying to start a Patreon model. So you can support the show for as little as a dollar. If you're brand new, don't even worry about that. Just keep watching these stories here. Also, I will put the Amazon links to the products I talked about below in the description. So happy watching. Be nice to that cat.